Hi, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. So today I'm going to be talking once again about the brand Lug. They came out with a small backpack about two years ago, I believe, 2019, called the Hatchback 3. I've been seeing a lot of it lately on my little group that I joined and I've actually been using it lately. So I wanted to show just how much this bag can actually hold. It's it's crazy. I love the zip liner, but this bag I think is a little more structured and can definitely hold more in my personal opinion. So I have my hatchback three packed right now. This is in shimmer walnut. It is packed to the brim. I had to bring some extra things with me um, to a relative's house yesterday for Easter. So I just decided to use this. I was going to use my zip liner, but like I said, I believe this holds more. It doesn't look that bad on. It's not too heavy or uncomfortable. So let's get into what's in my bag. First things first, there are two lovely outside pockets. Obviously this one's larger, smaller. So I will just start with this small pocket inside here. The first thing, Lysol, because pandemic. The second, let's see, lotion. And it's a spacious pocket for the size. That's what the interior pattern looks like. I love the interior pattern. I think it's a really beautiful match with the, the shimmer walnut. And yeah, so it's about, you know, bigger than my hand. All right, the next bottom pocket, I believe between this configuration and the last one prior to the hatchback three, it was more of a squared kind of opening, but this is a little more curved, making the pocket a bit bigger. So all I have in here are just reusable grocery totes. I like to carry those around. I have yet to purchase a Lug Eco Shopper. I do want that. It's on my future purchase list. As with the top pocket, no other internal organizational features, but a very spacious pocket. The bottom of this has the wipeable bottom, which actually came in very handy yesterday because we were outside for the majority of the day and I did place it on the ground and it kept everything pristine. Obviously though, this does not have the four feet, but this wipe of the bottom I think makes up for it. It does have these spacious cargo pockets on the side with this very nice magnetic closure. I had a protein shake in one, but I just keep my keys. I switched up from my Vera key holder and this side's empty so I can reserve this for any kind of water bottle on the back. Oh yes, I also attached my little hand sanitizer to the top. I don't really put anything else on the outside of this because it does not have any kind of rings or loops or anything. I think it would make it a little bit odd to try to attach something else. Usually I have a heart pouch on the outside of one of my bags, but you'll see that in a minute. So the back of the hatchback has this really nice side zipper tucked out of the way. So in here, I just have a couple emergency masks in case I forget a mask. You have your dedicated cell phone pocket right up here. Now, one of the very few, I don't even wanna call it a complaint, uh, one of the very few issues I have with this bag is that the dedicated cell phone pocket is behind the strap, so sometimes it's a little like awkward to get in, but it's not a deal breaker. I just, you know, I don't know where they could put it where it would be easier, so obviously this is the best choice to put the pocket here, but anyway, so you can fit a cell phone in here. My phone actually has a pop socket on it and it still fits just fine. My second issue, if you will, Velcro. Ah, uh, it definitely gets the job done. I just wish there was a magnet, a strong magnet, because I don't know, I, I eh, Velcro on bags, not my favorite thing in the world, but anyway. But what I have back here, I have to keep a, fur, a food journal in here, no problems. Onto the interior of that, I'm telling you, it's like the never ending bag. I feel like Mary Poppins when I'm carrying this because you just constantly feel like you're pulling things out of it. Smooth zippers, really, really flow nicely, of course. The first thing I'm gonna pull out is my sweater. Actually needed an extra sweater yesterday. Uh, one of the favorite new addition features are these clear view pockets. I, I mentioned before, I didn't really feel them when they first came out, but now I love that. Obviously I have my phone cord, lock, chapstick. Then this is my old school leather planner. This is my Splits XL, which also 
fits in there, no problem. And then, <laughs> um, because I do have to measure my food right now, I have, yeah, I have a food scale <laughs> that I had to bring with me yesterday. So I wanted to show you that I can even fit that in here, which is amazing. And below the Clearview pocket, there is a cargo pocket that spans mm, almost the entire length of the bag, not quite, but almost. There are two pen slots, so I have my little highlighter and another pen. And then below that, I have a very silly Hobby Lobby sunglass case. And then this is a Vera Bradley Tech case, Mimosa medallions. It just carries some, you know, essentials. But wait, there's more. On this key clip, I have my husband's spare keys. And the brush reminds me of my childhood, but much sturdier. Lastly, the two back cargo pockets. So in the first, I have another VR Bradley. I just carry little tchotchkes in there. And then in the other cargo pocket, I have a nail file, my heart pouch, which have hand sanitizing wipes in it, and my lug wild surprise box coin purse in leopard brown one last thing i know i always do this i always go oh but one last thing uh the, the straps are very padded they had the anti-slip on the back which makes it super comfortable to wear but the one thing i was finding and and this was a problem for me but fortunately i watched another youtuber who was having a her name is uh warthog princess she's awesome um, she was having a similar problem with a different style of backpack. What happens is when it has the buckle like this, they tend to slip out of where you adjust them for that nice, comfortable fit. Um, I do love that it has the elastic so you can actually, you know, keep the straps together. But I was having such trouble and she was too. She actually had mentioned about affixing snaps in order to hold them in place. And it's just simple little plastic snaps they hold the strap in place. I did give it a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much, um, just to make it look nice when they're together. And it literally keeps these straps perfectly in place and I have no problems with them slipping. But that's it. That's my Hatchback 3 unpacked, uh, my what's in my bag. And thank you so much for watching. I'm waiting on my trolley uh, crossbody and my gondola XL deliveries. As soon as they come in, I will be doing videos about each of them. Um, and then I'm not sure what I'll do next, but I'm sure it'll probably be something lug related um, or maybe Vera if I get back up to the outlets. Who knows? But thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.